with the Cal State University system, their chancellor, Timothy White, said that the 23 universities under their their belt, their community, whatever it is, uh, would almost be exclusively online this fall. Now, that includes UCLA, that includes Cal Berkeley, that includes uh, Fresno State, San Diego State, da 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 uh, what it does not include is USC, which is a private school, Stanford, which I believe is a private school. Yes. Um, those, I'm sure that they are going to try and run in the same vein that the Cal State uh, University system is. But what this basically means, is the CCAA came out. There we go. Matt said Cal State Northridge. Uh, that's where Mark Godfrey is, uh, <laughs> is the current basketball coach. Um they are the CCAA has said that they are suspending NCAA activities for the fall as of right now. Now, obviously things can change, but Los Angeles County came out and said, ah, Matt said that's where he went to PT school, Cal State Northridge. Okay, so he knows all about the Cal State University system. Um, they are suspending athletics in the fall for now. Now, all of these conversations that we have had uh, discussing the college football season and whatnot have, here we go, it, Michael jumps in on Twitch. Newsom extended the stay at home yesterday. At, Michael, how long did he extend that for? I know Los Angeles County extended it all the way until August, but I don't know anything else about the entire state. And what's going to make this crazy, there was news obviously yesterday after our show uh, Alabama and TCU are discussing the uh, the option of playing in week one on September 5th. Alabama's already going to be in Arlington. Uh, TCU was supposed to go play at Cal Berkeley. Um, you know, I mean, we'll see. That would be something nice to get. Alabama, TCU, they, they don't play often. Uh, Alabama's supposed to play USC. Cal is supposed to play TCU. If the Pac-12 is not playing those teams are going to need to find ways to make this work. Obviously, this would be a one-year, one-off, whatever kind of thing, and I think you're going to see more teams that uh, that end up doing this. Ohio State obviously has to play at Oregon. Now, that's not in California, but, you know. Uh, Michael said three months is what I heard. Where I'm at, they're trying to get more things open. I'm in Kern County. So, yeah, it's, it's a little strange. Uh, th- the numbers have not done what everybody expected them to do. Uh, we have had less positive tests over the last three or four weeks, and yet we've had more testing. So the numbers are going down, uh, even if, you know, it looks like it's kind of high on a graph. Uh, McKinnon jumps in on Facebook. Good to see you, gents. Good to see you, McKinnon. Glad you could join us today. I'm, I don't, I mean, I understand the idea of keeping everybody safe, but it, this is a, a strange circumstance because we were discussing the option of teams in the Northeast and out West that that could possibly not be able to play this fall. Now it really looks like everybody else is going to play except for the Pac-12. Um, or not the Pac-12, but the, the schools out West. The right? state of California, basically. Right. And now... I, I mean, I think, I think Oregon is trying to play. Oregon is is trying to get it up and running. I'm I'm curious what these conferences are going to do with certain teams that won't be able to play. Like Mark Emmert, the uh, the president of the NCAA, came out and said uh, that they are a good. How, how did he phrase it? Um, we can't have college sports if kids aren't in the classrooms. But he said, you know, it, there's a. It depends on how you define being in the classroom, right? So if they're still having online classes. Eh, maybe. Um, you know, is what it is. I tell me tell me your thoughts on this. What what do you, what direction do you see this going in? I don't I don't see why I don't see why being online only would would make it to where you just absolutely can't do it. Okay. I mean I just, I, it, I, so so playing devil's advocate, I can obviously see because if it's not safe enough for students to be on, on campus. Look, that's not that's not the reason they're going online only. And say they're going online only because it's the only way to do it safe, or it's not safe enough. It's just the most safe way of doing it. So and I those think, are two different things. I mean that's a, yeah, you okay. You you have a valid point there. Safe um, enough to walk away from billions of dollars that college football brings in. It's totally different than 
safe enough to put students in a classroom for no purpose whatsoever. Yeah, if you can make you it You still work. get the du- tuition yeah. money. You still get all the revenue that comes in. You don't get housing. You don't get the food, which is fine. You don't make any money off of that stuff anyway. So the thing that makes you money or that keeps you afloat being in a state institution is the tuition. Yeah. You get all of that. You still get to bill for it. Your administrative cost goes way down. And so let's just do it this way. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I totally get why the school would do that. I don't understand why you can't play football if you're an online owner. I'm I'm curious the amount of money that a team like Fresno State or San Diego State brings in. Is it worth it to them to actually play the season? Like maybe I, not, but I'm worried more about Cal and UCLA, UCLA and and so forth. Yeah. Um, Michael jumps in on Twitch said I've said it before. Newsom is a moron. I wouldn't doubt if California is the last state to lift restrictions. Uh, no, there's no question they're yeah. going to be. Yeah, I believe so. Um, uh, well, outside of maybe New York. I mean, it... But yeah, we'll but see. New York as a state will open up. They'll just keep the city locked down. Yeah, but, well, yeah, I think you're probably right. Uh, ben said, Sacramento State is my local team. No college football for me. Uh, Monster X Gaming brought up uh, Johnny Football almost died a couple of days ago. Uh, I did see the video of that, but I don't I know if it's... Completely. He, like, he was jumping like an OD situation or like a going off a cliff situation. Like he, he was jumping off a cliff into like a, uh, some kind of pond or lake or whatever. Um, but I mean, he's fine. So like he almost hit the ledge and if he would have done that died or like it was too shallow and he really got hurt and was hospitalized, but didn't die was, was trying to like run and jump and kind of do a backflip or whatever. Um, yeah, it's Michael did he said, actually get hurt or was it just a near miss? It was a near miss. Then I don't care. Yeah, so it's, okay. <laughs> I look back at my life and I didn't live a very extreme life, and there are at least three instances that I think about and they wake me up in the middle of the night all the time as to how the hell did I not die with that? Oh, yeah. I mean, two three inches more, and I'm and I'm no, I I killed myself. That's uh, Ben said he tried to do a backflip, but he ran out of cliff. Uh, yeah. Michael said he was probably high as hell. And then Monster X Gaming said he fell off just like his career. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and now to be fair, he was playing along with it because Sports Center shared out the, uh, the video footage. And he said, Yeah, I was about as successful with that as I was playing in the NFL. Like, yeah. I mean, at least he sees. So, yeah. <laughs> and Matt, of course, had to jump in with wait until the murder hornets get here. So. I swear to God, <laughs> every day he's got to keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. All right, so back to the Cal State University thing. Is it possible that we could have a college football season just without the state of California? What, do you think that the Pac-12 would be willing to play without USC? Without you know, it, Because I'm going to assume that USC is going to fall into the same thing as, as the Cal State University system. Would they play a system without – or would they play – a season without their, um, without their California teams. I think they would. I th- I really do. I th- I think you almost have to, right? And I have no idea where they're going to get television revenue money. I don't know how that's going to work. That's but, see, that's what I'm trying to figure out is is the television revenue worth as much if you don't have Stanford and USC? And would, but whatever. it's worth something. Okay, yeah, it's, it's worth, worth something. something. But but let me tell you what I would do if I was them is I would I would call up all those independents that are out there, get those scheduled. So you got, you got air force, you got BYU, you get those locked up. And, and then I'd call up Boise. I'd call, I call up all the mountain West schools that are, that are getting left out here. Yeah. Because there's going to be mountain West schools in the state of California, that, that California and the yeah. Sunbelt schools that are getting left out and you're not gonna have a great s- schedule, but hell that means Arizona state might have a chance to go undefeated. You know, just, Oregon would absolutely <laughs> go undefeated if that's who they end up playing. I mean, that's, you know, but at least, like, you get a schedule under you, you get some playing time, you get some reps, and, and you know, you get coached up, you get real live competition, and you're going to bring in some money. You're not yeah. going to bring in nothing. Yeah, no, you're right. You're 100% because right. Because all your expenses are there, okay? The only new expense by actually playing the season that you've got is is travel. That's it. 
Yeah, and if you all keep your it regional, other administrative expenses, coaching expenses, all of the, you're you're paying those. Yeah, those are already those are already built out, man. So if you can keep it regional, then I mean it makes yeah. it that much. Oh, there's no reason to not sense. keep it regional. There's just no reason. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you. Uh, Michael asked if we talked about Evans to TCU. He's missed the past couple of days. A hundred percent. It's over on the yeah. YouTube. Go check it out. Uh, it's it's there. Um, let's see the Pac-12. Yes, the Cal team will probably cry. Said the Brown Yeti. Uh, Monster Race Gaming said, if the teams in California don't play, will it be a bye week when another team is scheduled to play them? I think they're going to know beforehand who is playing oh, look, and who's not. I, I think I think if you, you take last year's, the schedules that are made for 2020 for every team, every conference, you can just throw those in the trash. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Because you can't just have, it, it happened to work out that Alabama and TCU both scheduled a, a California team. And so now they can, oh, let's twerk. The, what if those aren't the same weekend? And now we've got to rearrange another. And every school is going to be affected by this somehow, some way. And I also think it is wise to play more regional games. If there's no reason to fly up, you know, up to the Northeast or to fly all the way to the Pacific Northwest or whatever to play a game, yeah, then to, why do to it? get uh, like. Or Ohio State. Like, going I would all the way love to an LSU Oregon matchup. That'd be unbelievable. There's no reason to make that trip out to Oregon or for Oregon to come down and say, like, it's just yeah. not, there's no purpose for it. This is already going to be a weird season. Play people that are close to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, ben said Californians don't care about college football. There's some, you know, but yeah, for but the most for part. For the most part, he's right, though. Yeah. Like, you can't ever say there's some because there's some everywhere of something. 100%. Okay. But when you're painting with a broad brush, he's absolutely right. They barely care about the NFL. And most of them, California is actually a pretty good NFL state. Oh, yeah. They just don't like the teams that are there. They're all transplants. It's all people that move there from Green Bay and New York and, and you know, Wisconsin and, and, and Chicago and all these other places across the country, Boston. And, and they're fans of the teams back home. But yeah. there's still fans. Yeah, there's fans but, out there. Like there's, I think there's some, you know, built-in 49ers fans that are in San Francisco. But there's not a ton. There were you know, Raiders fans. Um, obviously, well, Oakland don't... was a unique situation. Yeah, that was a that was a strange that was a, thing. That was a very unique situation. So I, I would, if you, but college-wise, there. I mean, you, I, I think you can safely say it's not a college football town. Yeah. While. There are college bars all throughout L.A. because you've got 40 million people there. I mean, anytime you have yeah. so many people, you're going to have some, but they're a fraction of the amount of people enough to say we really don't care. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. I, I think if you polled everybody in, you know, SoCal, uh, yeah. Raiders by far, is it, yeah. that's that's the only football anybody would how, really know. How they didn't end up in the L.A. situation is beyond me, and, and San Diego end up in Vegas, I don't – I can't figure yeah. out this is why we need a czar and we can't let these people make their own decisions yeah i agree uh michael said one state shouldn't ruin uh shouldn't ruin sports for everybody else agreed well and um, they're not they're gonna ruin it for everybody in that state which happens to be a big ass state with a lot of schools you got that right but everybody else is gonna go forward i fully believe um and and i think i think it'll cost newsom his job i really do i think the way oh, yeah. he's handled this we're gonna look back and i think before this for the majority of Californians, they are Newsom fans. It is a one-party state. That's 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 it. And Newsom has done a quote-unquote great job to the majority of them. I I think this is going to cost him his job. Yeah, because I think people are turning on him. Uh, Monster yes. X Gaming said, or they could turn into a road team. Talking about those uh, California teams. How do they prepare? Is the question that's that we got to deal with is yeah, you it, can't. They got to train. They got to practice. Unless we're going to just move USC and UCLA to Arizona well, and see, that's, say that's we're going to do issue. online classes, but we're all going to stay in the Ramada end in Arizona that's and do our online with, classes with and USC, work out here. right? Like at USC, uh, the reason why, and, and obviously Mike Bond, the uh, the athletic director for USC, came out and said, yo, hold up, everybody slow your roll. We're still planning on playing Alabama in Arlington, Texas on, on August, or on some, uh, good God. September fifth. Yeah, but if if they are all shut down and they can't have any public gatherings all the way through August, how are you gonna practice? How do you pre- how do you prep for the season? The NCAA yeah. has already said you need six weeks. Like yep. you are going to have to start six weeks before 
Now I wonder, I wonder like, I mean, Nevada, what, what is Nevada? Two hours away from LA. You don't have to get to Vegas. You just got to get across state line. I mean, like, it's two and a can half. Can you drive these kids across the closest state line and find a facility that you, a high school facility not being used and get them ready and, and put them in local hotels? Like, Man. is that a possibility for not just USC, this private school, but can all these schools do it? That's, that's a really good, I mean, this is, look, there's 23 universities in it's the Cal State for University the, system. for the schools that are inland because – California, yeah. not, it's not as easy to get from from Berkeley, you know. I mean, across how, the state how are you going to get from Palo Alto, you know, out to somewhere for you to be able to practice? I mean, that's almost impossible. Like it's that's tough. But LA, LA is like two hours away from Nevada. It's four hours away from Vegas, but yeah. Vegas is in quite a bit. I th- I think it's only like a two hour drive to yeah. get out of state. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think it's I think it's two two and a half. Uh, let me get let me get caught up on uh, some of these comments here. The Brown Yeti said this may give us some uh, really good football. Uh, ben said, I do, but most of my friends don't like it at all. It's just Raiders and 49ers. And Michael, of course, raised his hand, said transplants from Denver. Um, Raiders fans in L.A., sad boys. Matt said, the weather there allows them to play year-round, plus money for facilities and coaches. Can get some good players out of there, but people there are not like we are in the South. Uh, Monster X Gaming said they'd trade whatever to move the Chargers to Vegas and the Raiders to L.A., yeah, 100%. I, I think the fans would definitely appreciate that. For, for for a fan perspective, everybody in the world would do that. The only people that wouldn't maybe is Oakland. I think the Raiders would do it too because then yeah. they go place where they have a ton of fans. Oh, yeah. Well, and, I do, I'll, I do I'll think that they have marketed the new stadium unbelievable. They're going with the Star Wars. Like, they're calling it the Death Star, and it's going to be all black. They've already like, sold out all of their season tickets. That, I'm going to tell you, if it wasn't for John Gruden, I would. I, I told you. You know how excited I oh, was yeah. when the when the Oakland went to break. I, I was immediately sold out. My buddy who was a Chargers fan said, "I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm gonna jump on the Raiders bandwagon now." Well, that was when and, Jack and, Del Rio was the coach. Like that was then, just yes, a few years and then, ago. Then my boy Del Rio was the guy. Riverboat and then Jack. They, they dimed him out, and they didn't just go get Chucky. They gave Chucky the keys to the kingdom. They put the crown on his head and said, "You're gonna be here for life." And I just can't get down with that. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. That yep. guy ruined my favorite television show for a decade. Oh yeah. Mount. Mount. Uh, Matt said, if you look at how the state votes, it's largely red. However, the more dense areas, L.A., San Diego, San Fran, Tippett Blue. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's more people in those areas. But well, yeah, if you yeah, just look at yeah, counties, in the middle of nowhere places, it's red. Yeah. But that doesn't matter because you got 30 people there, and in L.A. and San Francisco, you've got millions I, I and millions. I, I can't even guess the amount of people. That are in LA and San Francisco. Oh, it's astronomical numbers. Yeah. I mean, it's just huge. Um, Michael said, How is that going to affect recruiting for Cali teams if they lose a year? Uh, it ain't gonna it's be gonna good. Hurt. It's like, gonna hurt. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely gonna hurt. Uh, Ben said Newsom's policies have been generally approved of. Yeah, mostly by the those yeah. three major areas. Um yeah. Michael said Vegas is about four hours from Yeah, we yeah. But yeah, uh, I know Vegas is you just, just talking about the border. state line. You ain't gotta get to Vegas. Yeah. And I think the state line is only two. I um, think because I think you drive two hours through the middle of Nevada before you get to Vegas. Yes. Yes. 100%. Hell, uh, it might be shorter than that. It might be three hours through through Nevada before you get to Vegas. Vegas is pretty deep in there. Oh, it is. It, it most certainly is. Uh, I really do think it's it's two to two and a half hours to the border. Yeah. Um, yeah. McKinnon said, hate the Raiders, but good Lord, that stadium looks damn nice. Ben said, move the Raiders to Mexico. Uh, <laughs> look, they'd have a lot of fans down there, too. Uh, if the teams in Cali don't play the season, who will draft anyone from those colleges in 2021? Well, they'll a lot still of get people drafted still if they've got studs. Yeah, they got studs. I mean, good gracious. Damian, now, they're all, they're, I'll tell you this. A lot of them will fall. They will they will fall oh, big time. Yes, most certainly. And it won't be their fault. Like, if, if they still go to, like, an NFL combine, something like that, and show out, then obviously you have a chance. But they're going to fall because you're not going to have as much game film as everybody else. So... Yeah, that I mean, if Jadavion Clowney didn't play his junior year, he would have still went number one overall. It's it's why the whole transferring thing, uh, why the NCAA is is so ridiculous because the Board of Governors is recommending against it. We talked about this last week sometime. Yep. Um, if kids are not going to get a chance to play at their school this year, they, they should, should be allowed, be allowed to, transfer. to transfer somewhere where they can play. That the especially issue especially if you're a junior or a senior. The issue now, now I, I almost understand if you're a sophomore or a freshman, 
then, then I, I, I almost get it. You're a junior or a senior? No, 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 no. No, you mean I get to yep. I get to miss this year, and that's it? No, no, especially yeah. seniors. No, 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 no. Oh, one hundred percent. Damien said, that? "Why don't these sports leagues add new teams to the leagues instead of moving teams around?" Um, well, because you've got a, a financial structure that you have to be able to maintain, and some some teams are not as profitable in the areas that they are located in. Um, so I, I understand it. Now, some of them do. Like Major League Baseball is planning on expanding. Now, I don't know if because of this they're going to hit a you know, a little pothole. Um, Major League Baseball doesn't need to expand. They need to get rid of both Florida teams. Uh, yes. But they don't need to get rid of them. They need to move them. Yeah, they, those they need to move. In, in the NFL, they don't need to expand. We don't need to listen. Major League Baseball is watered down as it is. They don't need any more teams. Agreed. But they are we, talking about expanding. So if they, if they lost both of those teams completely and all those players went – to other teams, it would probably be better for the for the league overall. Yeah, but but they need thirty. They need an, an, an the, the number that they got, unless they'd have to redesign everything. Yeah, they'd have whatever. to reset up their entire financial structure. And that's, that's football why is the only sport that I think you could expand and do anything with. Basketball can't expand anymore at all. Um, they 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 need to shoot two teams in the head right now. I mean that that's just got to happen. But they'll never do it. No. No, I, I mean, I think NBA is more likely to expand than they are to, you know. But that would, that's rid- ridiculous, though. You do realize how ridiculous that is. Oh, I, a I'm league, with you 100%. A league in which three teams have a chance to truly win a title every year, and, and they're talking about we need more teams. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean, you it, have, it's such an international game. 27 worthless teams, and, and, and we want more. Nope, you don't need more. I agree. Um, the Brown Yeti said, I love the silver and black in Las Vegas. I'm just a fan of the game. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got nothing against uh, Gruden. Really, like I'm not a huge football. Fan of him, but... Pro sports in Vegas, I'm a fan of. I, I am all in. Instead of going and watching the Raiders now, I will just go and watch the other teams. You got it. You got it. Michael Fritz said everything not on the coast in California is conservative. Ben said the Rays had fans last year. Eh, you know. No, they it's... didn't. No, they didn't. That's the problem. They absolutely didn't. They, they... competed yeah. in the wild card game, and still. Like three thousand people showed up in that stadium. Yep, yep. Uh, Monster X Games said, "Will NFL season still happen normally? Games at stadiums with people? Uh, probably not. I don't know about with, with people, but I do think that they are playing, and I think they're going to play in their stadiums." Yeah. Uh, ben said uh, the NHL should keep expanding. Eh. I don't know enough about the. I've, I follow the NHL enough to be dangerous. I don't know. I you know, could they add more players? I don't know what the talent pool is. Uh, Monster X Gaming said, uh, yeah, because the TV contracts are still massive. Uh, Jose said, what's up? Just bring back the Sonics. Hey, I'm a fan of that. Oh, I'm no, all no. in on that. Listen, I, I thought Steve Ballmer, instead of building another stadium in California, should pack the Clippers up and go straight back to Seattle. He would 100%. be a god there. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about being a god. You want to talk about people looking at you like you are Jordan, like you are, like you are one of the greatest players, like your bird in, in in Boston, you would be the person they would build a statue to, if you move that team back. Yeah, a hundred. And you're right now, you're the bastard child of L.A. Oh yeah, who even wants if, to be that? Even if you're building a new coliseum in Inglewood, it doesn't matter. Doesn't like, it matter. Really doesn't matter. Why so, are you doing that? It, it's kind of like the Chargers moving Nobody in. Nobody comes like, to Clippers games, and it ain't because. The Staples Center belongs to the Lakers, yeah, so they've, they've, we're just not going. The Clippers have been selling tickets the last however many years, but they they don't sell out the way the Lakers do. I mean, the Lakers. Are hang on, whoa, whoa. that's not that's ju- that's just not true. They're like they're like middle of the road in ticket sales, even as good as they've been. I could have sworn that they they're no, like Bill top Bill 10. Simmons. I, listen, if you listen to Bill Simmons, Bill Simmons is a season ticket holder year in and year out for the Clippers, and he goes to those games and he talk he reports back about. Who's there and who's not, and that place is. I mean, it's not empty, but but it ain't it ain't full. I I, I think they are probably fifteenth to twelfth in attendance across the board. It which is not last, but and that's yeah, while right. they're competing. Yeah, no, that's okay. You gotta. But if that team, as competitive as they've been lately, was in Seattle, oh, your first five years in Seattle are sold out before 100%. before you ever play a game. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're dead on. I mean, it's it's like when uh, the Thunder were moved to Oklahoma City for a little bit. 
uh, when yeah. they were like, I think it was still the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, but yep. that's, I mean, because they sold out, because no, they that showed wasn't out. A, that wasn't a thing. The Pelicans played there before the Thunder got there because of Katrina. Because of Katrina, yeah. And so, and because they did so well, the NBA decided to move the that's team right. there. They got so, a team. Uh, Damian Estrada said, why not add teams to all 50 states? Because not not all 50 states oh, can That's can insane. Afford, like, they that's can't support insane. a team. Who the hell is going to go into Montana? Where do you put the stadium if you're in Wyoming? Or North Dakota, South Dakota, you know, any yeah, of those. These I mean, big monster states that have so pe- few people there. Yeah, it's just, And those people don't want basketball. Yeah, they, they don't want basketball. And I think, I think some of them would like NFL football, but there's – Still, not enough people to be able to. You support. go, you go up to those places to get away from folks. You don't go there to go to forty thousand seat stadiums. It's uh, Michael said. I love the Supersonics. Rain Man, Sean Kemp, Matt Miller said the Pac-12 won't be playing football this fall. What's the difference? They don't play most falls anyway. Uh, that the the idea right now is that the Pac-12 could be playing by themselves. I, I think the Pac-12 is going to play without the two California, uh, the the maybe the four California teams. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out is if you do that, then you three, can't play in the four, spring. Four teams. Um, yeah, the, yeah, there's four. Four, four. Pac-12 teams. I got it right. Um, so, but if they do, like if the Pac-12 just decides to hold off and they hold their season conference only in the spring, then okay. I don't think that's happening, by the way. I, I, I think that idea is gone. I well, think that was an idea that got floated out, and now that everybody else, I think, is going to play football, I don't think there's going to be a spring conference because there's going to be nobody for them to play. I think I think that's the biggest thing. You're not you're not going to play a four team round robin, no, and say we're the winner of this. Nobody else is going to care, and all of your pro players are going to leave, so nobody's going to care, and yeah. the rest of the country is going to play. Yeah, uh, McKinnon said in regards to the gentleman's comment about everything uh, not on the coast being conservative in California. He's 100% right. Hell, they're trying to split into three different states. Uh, I believe it'll be Coastal California, Sierra California, and Northern California. Uh, Woody Thompson jumped in, said, Big Gary, go sports. We appreciate you hopping in. The Brown Yeti said the Seattle Murder Hornets. Oh, my God. I swear. <laughs> uh, Michael said Clippers bought the forum to have their own stadium, right? Uh, they are building their own. They're building. They're, yeah. they're not, they didn't buy the they forum. They didn't buy they're the forum. Building they're building a stadium by the, by the old forum. Yeah. Uh, which is gaming. insane, which is just the most ridiculous thing we've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Monstrous Gaming said, who's going to do the Monday Night Football gig? Um, Peyton and Drew denied. Eli, maybe. Eh. I, who knows? I, I mean, that that one, I mean, I have no idea right now. I'd love for it to be Pat McAfee, but they're not, they're not going to take that risk. Um, let's see. Matt uh, said, when I was there, no one was ever able to see the Lakers. Everyone went to see the Clippers. You ordered a meal at McDonald's and got Clipper tickets. Uh, let's see. Good gracious, we got a ton of comments today. Uh, Let's see. That's what the MLB is trying to do. Uh, More new stadiums to get people because the attendance at the ballpark is low for uh, like two-thirds of the league. Uh, Ben said they should merge the Pac-12 and the Mountain West. Uh, The spring is going to be watered down. No draft pick is playing when the NFL draft is going on. Ben said for the season, games would be competitive. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. So so we don't think that they're going to do spring football, but... That would almost mean that no California team is going to be able to play this fall, and they would also not be able to play in the spring. So this is going to be well, something I mean, to keep you an eye on. You just said USC has said we're planning on playing. They, I mean, they're planning on it, but so they so they got a plan in place. They're just not talking about it. I would love to see what they end up doing because they, along with some of these other teams, are going to have to leave the state. Yep, I think that's what you do, though. Now I don't know that the state schools will be allowed to do that. But I don't know that you can stop USC. I know for a fact you can't stop USC and Stanford from doing that. It's a weird situation, though, isn't it? I mean, well, hang on. Yes, it's a weird situation, but you can't control what your governor does. I mean, that's true. I just he, it, he backs you in a corner. You take your resources and go elsewhere. The Brown Yeti said the Cal League in the spring. Um, nope, I mean, not, not going to happen. I, I don't think that would be able to happen either because, I, I mean, maybe you do because there's so many different schools. I mean, there, there's a bunch of Division One schools in California, so maybe if you just want to, if you just want the TV contract, but... But nobody's going to pay for that. What TV's going to pay? It's not Pac-12. No, because it would be Fresno so, State. So who's going to pay, who's be, gonna pay for that TV rights? I think some, like, I, I think somebody would. I mean, obviously ESPN and FS1 already hold the uh, the rights, but I... 
you know, I, it's it's strange. It's just strange. Like I don't think but, there's any way on earth it's happening. Busing California kids out of state so that they can prepare for a football season during pandemic may not come off as the best optics. But hang on. But now, also, we're, think, like, if we're reopening everything and all the other states are opening, then then the pandemic has passed. Agreed. Regardless of what else is happening, we we are now opening back up, and if that's the case then they're not doing it during a pandemic. They're doing it because your state is still treating it like it's a pandemic. In every other state, right or wrong, every other state is opening up. True. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know. Uh, Matt Miller on YouTube said, do you think bookies will be taking odds on whether LA riots start when California collapses? Uh, <laughs> I, I, would, I wouldn't take bets on that because I, I know which way I would bet. So, I mean, the odds would be, uh, astronomical. So, I mean, you know, there's going to be riots. It's just when is it going to start? And so, I don't know. the The whole thing is is bananas. I mean, just bananas. Uh, let's go on and, and move into. We we spent a long time on that, but we appreciate everybody commenting in. You guys have been fantastic today. Uh, let's jump into UFC. 